Hello Guardians, welcome to a video that I already said that would probably happen because the little teaser was obviously very short and it was just for Google AdSense. But now, literally, I've just seen this notification that the actual weapons and gear trailer has come out now. So, this time, I'm going to watch the whole thing through because it just came out and then I'll describe various different bits throughout it. What is the relic on Mars? Oh, relic on Mars. To create your own weapon. Oh, weapon crafting. Oh, that looks so cool the way they're displaying it. Discover new exotic weapons. Oh, grand overtune. Parasite. Uh, that's a good name for it, actually, like when you think about it. Osteostriga. Basically, it's Thorn of the looks of it. We got Titan Glaive Edge of Action. We got Warlock Glaive Edge of Intent. And we got Hunter Glaive Edge of Concurrent. Some new exotic showcases. Oh, that looks so cool! Oh, double grenades. With Enhanced Seeking. Reflect Projectile Deal something. I didn't get to read all that yet. And there's the end of the trailer. Then obviously at the end we have that, the pre-order bonuses. So yeah, there's a good bit of stuff to go through. To think we only had like basically 10 seconds of this minute long trailer. And very interesting, right? When we go here. What is the relic on Mars? What is the relic on Mars? I think that 100% confirms that Mars is actually coming back. There's no way Sabathun would say that if it was in her own throne world. She would probably be like, what is this relic in my throne world? You know, rather than t like, you know, calling out Mars in particular. Now, obviously, we still don't really know if the old or new Mars is coming back. And obviously, like, it's cool now actually getting to see the weapon crafting yoke, whatever you want to call this, the crafter or whatever, actually here. Now, if I play it for a bit, it looks like this is probably a part of, like, a cutscene, maybe? When, like, you've done something in the story mission and put that down. And might I also uh, talk about how friendly Sabathun's being here as well? She nearly sounds like she's, like, talking to us as a genuine ally. That's all I'm going to say about that. Create your own she says, create your own weapon. So craft uh, your new arsenal. And as we can see here, we've got what looks to be a Witch Queen pulse, maybe auto rifle. And obviously we have like a bunch of different perks that it's scrolling through. So if we go in, we see extended barrel. We have a uh, corkscrew uh, rifling. We have chambered compensation. We have arrowhead break. Then the guardian chooses it. Then we move on to one of the first weapon perks. So obviously here we have, uh, I think that's quick draw or my, I'm, I'm probably wrong with that. We have reload speed. Oh, it's handling. Yeah. So we have handling, we have range. So, oh, so this is the masterwork tier or what was the masterwork tier at one point or maybe, no, yeah, it still is the masterwork tier. Apologies. The next after that, we got, Okay, now we have weapon perks. So we have, I think that's armored something. I can't really read it through thing. Because I can't remember every gun perk off the top of my head. Uh, flared something. Extended mag. Accurized rounds. And then I think, oh, no, there's one more. It looks like so far with weapon crafting, you're able to just choose what you want. Uh, we have one of, uh, an interesting perk, shoot to loot. That was literally just introduced recently so it's good to see like that's going to be on the weapons also but it it's obvious you know we also have a raid perk down here i don't know if that's going to go to it no it's going away from it but we also have um recombination or something like that that's definitely from deepstone crypt so that's interesting to see that deepstone crypt perk is going to be on this random legendary of the looks of it and obviously we then have this perk can't read it with this perk can't read it we have genesis rounds just here uh, triple tap. Oh yeah, so it was triple tap. They went back to it. And now we pause it and we can actually read everything that was chosen just there, which is interesting. I wish it would actually show weapons like this when you inspect them, but they definitely won't be doing something like this. It's just for the trailer. 
and obviously it's showing you the weapon being used. So discover new exotic weapons. So obviously with the first one, which looks like it's going to be a part of the season pass, which again, that's the thing I forgot to point out last time. We got Grand Overtune. Slug Launcher Charges Full Auto Missiles. You know what? I wasn't completely wrong. I said Full Auto last time, so... Yeah, I wonder what they class it as, though. Unless it's, like, its own unique kind of uh, weapon. Just, like, Xenophage is, like, a machine gun, but it shoots, like, a hand cannon. Or a heavy hand cannon, so... And then we have here, randomly, if you listen out to the bullets, it sounds like they're shooting, um... I'm gonna say Dubious Volley, because I actually can't remember its other name. But... Yeah, if you listen to that sound, it's very similar to it. And it's shooting extremely fast as well. Unless it has, like different firing modes on this one obviously it's mowing down a bunch of hive uh the titan's not wearing anything else then we have the warlock carrying parasite which again is, is a good weapon name because like what else can you really call it so worm launcher with increasing damage uh yep yeah, that's really actually until now we get to see it being fired next we have osteostriga again it's the same um, weapon we've seen like a ton of now. Swarming projectiles trigger a toxic burst. So it's a bit similar to how Thorn would function. And we see it just melting everything here. But let's just say these guards are probably max light. That's probably why. Ooh, okay, wait. You may have not noticed that. But yeah, that Titan's wearing something very funky. That looks like a Cabal helmet. I doubt that's an exotic. It'll probably be like a um, Season Pass armor uh, helmet. But yeah, that's just something to know. I, I actually didn't even notice that the first time around. And I was wrong. So they have three glaives. And maybe it's just like one for each class. And they do the one specific thing. So as you can see... We got the Titan Glaive, Edge of Action, which uh, places a protective shield. More like a little dome, as you can see here, like it's way more... As you can see, it's a lot smaller, so it's not like the usual Titan bubble. As the Titan has that, the Warlock's Glaive is Edge of Intent, which deploys a healing turret. So what we're seeing here is actually the orb being shot towards people, not people shooting at the turret to get an orb. Oh, I do believe the, um, yeah, see, they're all wearing this kind of Cabal-themed outfit, so. This next season could be Cabal-related. It could be, like, Cabal Crow and someone else, or Cabal, um, Kytle Crow and someone else that's involved in this next story, which would be interesting to see under the Witch Queen. And then we have the Hunter Glaive Edge of Concurrence. Sorry, I said concurrent last time. Which is a tracking chain lightning. So imagine doing an uppercut as a Hunter Arc Strider. But instead of it just going straight forward, it tracks whoever it wants to go to first. As we might be able to see here. No, never mind. They're all standing still. Yeah, if we go back a bit, just immediately even before we start. Obviously the Titan's wearing the normal Witch Queen armor to show that this must be an exotic chess piece. Because why else would they look so out of place? So obviously we have no clue what that's going to be. We have these grips, which I think... Uh, is this the Hunter? It might be the Hunter. But yeah, we can see like the dark blue. So obviously these are related to stasis. It might be related to uh, the extended range of the tracking for... Uh, stasis grenades and then we got a new helmet okay this is the hunter joe if you couldn't tell yeah and it's very obviously pointing there now we have the or frost z chest stasis wall replaces barricade i think that's kind of cool i'm not gonna lie like honestly seeing that is just so cool Oh, and just to also know, we also got a new looking hand cannon here as well, which is probably going to be a legendary, but I just thought I'd note that. It does have the um, uh, cylindrical part here on the barrel, so it's probably an iron banner weapon, especially with the little bit that's sticking out here that's etched into the gun. So again, I'd say that's like iron banner or for the next iron banner coming up. So yeah, as you can see there, it threw two. It's the Osmiomancy Gloves. Additional cold snap with enhanced seeking. So I don't know if that's going to be for both of them or if it's just going to be for one of them. But yeah. It's weird that they didn't choose to like play in an area with like, or like a new map or something. Cause like they did say there'd be new Crucible maps, but 
it is how it is. And lastly, we have the Blight Ranger Helmet. Reflected projectiles deal increased damage. So if you thought a golden gun shot uh, deflected back at somebody was doing a lot of damage, it'll probably do an absurdly more amount of damage. Like I can imagine people trying to put this on with Celestial or another hunter having Celestial shooting their thing and then the person aiming their staff directly at a boss to see how much damage it does. I can imagine that's like a nutty combo to try and pull off when you're doing DPS in a red. Oh, and this is another thing I meant to know as well last time. I forgot to, I completely forgot to talk about the armor pieces. So we have this cool like uh, flaming helmet. We have this on the hunter and I don't think the warlock has, oh no, the warlock has the um, exotic on from, that we already talked about the uh, cold snap one. So yeah, again, interesting little notes to know. And obviously we have the ends just like the uh, Google AdSense trailer. So yeah, that's it for the breakdown of this trailer. If you like the video, obviously like it. Comment your thoughts on the Witch Queen. And subscribe if you want to keep up to date with Destiny 2 the Witch Queen. Thanks again for watching Guardians and I'll see you in the next video.